In this video, we will graph the trigonometric function y equals negative 2 tangent of x over 3 plus pi over 3. Recall that in the basic tangent function y equals tangent of x, the two closest asymptotes to the origin are negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. This means that the function completes one period as x changes between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. Similarly, our function completes one period as the expression x over 3 plus pi over 3 changes between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. To find the values of x for which this function completes one period, we have to solve the following inequality x over 3 plus pi over 3 is greater than negative pi over 2 and is less than positive pi over 2. So as you see, just like in this function, x is between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. In our function, the expression x over 3 plus pi over 3 is between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. From here, we will solve this inequality for x, and because here we have 3 in the denominator, we will start by multiplying all 3 sides by 3. So we will multiply the left side by 3, the middle side by 3, and the right side by 3. Then on the left we will have negative 3 pi over 2. In the middle we will distribute 3. Then 3 and 3 will cancel, and we will have x plus pi. Then on the right side we will have 3 pi over 2. Now to get x alone we need to subtract pi from all three sides. Then on the left side we will have negative 3 pi over 2 minus pi. In the middle pi and negative pi will cancel and we will have x and to the right we will have 3 pi over 2 minus pi. Now to be able to subtract we need to get the same denominator. For this we will bring down 3 pi over 2 and in place of pi we will write 2 pi over 2. Then we will do the same to the right side. So on the right side we will have 3 pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 2. Then here negative 3 pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 2 makes negative 5 pi over 2. So we will bring down negative 5 pi over 2 less than x and then on the right side 3 pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 2 is pi over 2. So we can say that the function completes one period as x changes between negative 5 pi over 2 and pi over 2. These two expressions also represent the two consecutive asymptotes. Now I will draw the rectangular coordinate system to the right and we will draw the vertical asymptotes. So on the x-axis to the right of the origin we will plot pi over 2. Then I will draw a vertical asymptote and I will make this line dotted because this line is not part of the graph of the tangent function. And if to the right we have just 1 pi over 2, then to the left we will need negative 5 pi over 2. So here we have negative pi over 2, negative 2 pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, negative 4 pi over 2, and negative 5 pi over 2. Then at negative 5 pi over 2, we will have another vertical asymptote. Next, we will find the x-intercept, and the x-intercept is located right in the middle between two consecutive asymptotes. By looking at the graph, we can tell that the x-intercept is negative 2 pi over 2, or just negative pi. Otherwise, to find this x-intercept, we would need to add negative 5 pi over 2 and pi over 2, and then divide the result by 2. So again, this would be negative 5 pi over 2 plus pi over 2, all divided by 2. 
negative 5 pi over 2 plus 1 pi over 2 makes negative 4 pi over 2. So we will have negative 4 pi over 2 divided by 2 and negative 4 pi divided by 2 is negative 2 pi then negative 2 pi divided by 2 is negative pi. So we found the x-intercept and now I will add this point to the graph. Now once we have the x-intercept then halfway to the right between the x-intercept and the vertical asymptote the value of the function will be negative 2 because of this negative 2 that we have in front of the tangent. Then halfway to the left the value of the function will be the opposite of this number which is positive 2. Let's find the x-coordinates of these two points. To find the one that is halfway to the right, we need to add negative pi and pi over 2 and divide the result by 2. So negative pi plus pi over 2 all divided by 2. Then negative pi plus pi over 2 is negative pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 divided by 2 is negative pi over 4. So this point here has the coordinate negative pi over 4. Now to find this point we need to add negative 5 pi over 2 and negative pi and divide the result by 2. So negative 5 pi over 2 plus negative pi all divided by 2. To make this easier we can rewrite this as negative 5 pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 2 all divided by 2. Then negative 5 pi over 2 minus 2 pi over 2 is negative 7 pi over 2 and negative 7 pi over 2 divided by 2 is negative 7 pi over 4. So then this point will have the coordinate negative 7 pi over 4. Then we said that at negative pi over 4 the value of this function is negative 2 so I will plot this point and at negative 7 pi over 4 the value of the function is positive 2. And if we want to check the work we can always use a calculator. For example, if we replace this x with negative pi over 4, then the value of the function will be negative 2. Now let's connect the points and as we get closer to pi over 2, the function will approach negative infinity and when we approach negative 5 pi over 2, the function will approach positive infinity. Now let's compare our graph to the graph of the basic tangent function. Here we see that the function increases over an interval between two consecutive asymptotes. But if we look at our function we see that the function decreases or it goes down as we move from left to right. This is because of this negative number we have in front of the tangent and this negative number caused the graph to be reflected about the x-axis. So now here we have the graph of the function y equals negative 2 tangent of x over 3 plus pi over 3 over 1 period. And to graph this function first we found the vertical asymptotes by solving this inequality. Then we found the x-intercept which is a point that is right in the middle between two consecutive asymptotes. Then we found two more points one of them was halfway to the right and another one halfway to the left. Then after plotting these three points we connected them and we got the graph. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment and thank you for watching.